Hey there, got another sh uh, bite me short here for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel here and don't forget to subscribe to the Bite Me Podcast. Appreciate all the listeners here. Uh, all right, we're back with Scott Knoll, Captain Scott Knoll here uh, on the back, port ran back porch ranch, which by the way, this man has done a hell of a job uh, with this ranch. Maybe one of, our, one of our bite me shorts is after he's done. We'll get a tour uh, of this madman uh, doing all this work on his own house, but it's turning out real good. People always ask about gear. Uh, what kind of gear do you, are you running for specific things? Uh, we're not going to get into everything, but we're going to get into what Scott uses uh, off his uh, off his Freedom uh, General here in certain circumstances. All right, Scott, what are we talking? Hey guys, what are we uh, talking here? Everybody always asking, you know, what size rods and reels are these tarp? You know, for these tarpon, and what size tarpon are you after? Hey, my tarpon are anywhere from 10, 15, 20 pounds, which I use trout gear. You know, typical bay stuff for mm -hmm. but when we get onto the beach front we start chasing those bigger ones the 100 you know 150 on up uh, then we switch over to some heavier gear depends on if you like bait casters or spinning uh, this is a tranks 400 and i believe i've got probably 50 pound braid mm -hmm. on those and uh use a 60 or 80 pound leader depending on what size fish we're, we're talking about we're going to get to the leader in just a uh, second because I, I think a lot of people want to know how long and how you tie it etc uh, with this you've got the big cranking handle it can handle a big fish it's got a hell of a drag on it uh, this here is a saragossa and i use a 5000 size on the saragossa you can use a 4000 the biggest difference and with braid you can get enough line on there mm -hmm. you can handle it and you, you chase them with the boat anyway if they get out of hand. The biggest difference when, you, when it jumps from a 4,000 to a 5,000, you have to do the bail yourself. That's the biggest biggest difference that I noticed. Uh -huh. you, on a 5,000, you have to flip it yourself. On a 4,000 lower, when you crank the handle, it automatically yeah. flips. But I do like having a 5,000 size because you just never know what size fish you're going to end up with. Mm -hmm. If it's a 60 or 80 pound fish, it's not it's a fine. problem. It's fine. Yeah. Everything's easy. <laughs> When you start getting into those you know, 150 and ups, then, then having a little extra doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. The rods are all uh, these G Loomis Pro Blues. Uh, I like the, uh, the three and the four action. Depends on what we're doing. If I'm throwing lures a lot, the, uh, the last number, it's rubbed off a little here, but it's 844 SF. That's spinning fast action. Mm -hmm. 844, 84. On Shimano is the length in inches, mm -hmm. four, three on the last number is the uh, the stiffness or the, the strength of the rod. And like this one is a 904. And so it's a, a four power. Four power, you can throw lures as long as they're a little heavier. Yeah. When I get into throwing um, the bait busters for them, they're a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. And with a bait buster, you need a three. Yeah. Yeah, I like a three. Mm -hmm. Problem is, you don't have quite as much power to fight the fish. <laughs> so it's all, it's all a trade-off. Yeah. If you can't get the lure to the fish, it don't matter whether you can fight it or not. Yeah. So having the three to be able to cast something a little lighter is pretty handy. This is uh, the DOA Terrorize. That's a good heavy lure. Uh, that's all lead in there. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a tarpon slayer right there. Yeah. Along, you know, showed you the uh, coon pops in the past. And the coon pops work great. We cast them, we control them. We're going to do a video later about how we deal with that. Uh, if they're down deep, I'm throwing the terror eyes on them. Mm -hmm. If they're up closer to the top, then it's going to be bait busters. Before we get out of here, let's talk about the leader. That's another thing that we've talked about on the podcast. You've described it, uh, but I think if we can show people what we're talking about, it'd be a little better. I like 60 pound. You can see it here. 60 pound tied directly to the to the braid. And what's that knot again? Uh, I use a variety of knots. The FG knot doesn't work all that well on this size stuff, yeah, yeah. on the bigger. Uh, so I've started using an Albright knot mm -hmm. quite a bit and uh, uni to uni. Yeah, uh, uni is a pretty much easy go-to. It's, it's a go-to, it's easy. It's easy to tie on the boat. It's easy to tie quick. Yeah. Uh, if I'm in my shop and I'm getting ready for trips, and you'll I've tie this. Time, I'll go ahead and do, do an all right. It's just, it holds up better. It's your personal favorite. I like the way it goes through the eyes better. Mm -hmm. Unity to unity, you have, you have a little bit of a. Yeah, edge you got to really it. cut it. And it, it doesn't want us to go through the, the eyes. And that looks like about a good seven feet. 
Six, uh, six, seven feet? I think those, it's 84 inches. Uh, so seven feet? Seven. Yeah. 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 And this is seven and a half on the bait caster. Uh, I like throwing a bait caster, but most of my customers, I'm going to put a spinning rod in their hands. They can throw them a little bit further yeah. and cast a little bit better with yeah. them. Uh, it's not like throwing typical bay stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it's all heavier. You got. It's easier to. You got to put a little more behind it to yeah. get it out there. Yeah. But uh, the leaders, you want to, you want to make your leader longer than the fish that you're going to catch. Yeah. Uh, because of the whip back and. Right. Yeah. They start tail slapping on that braid. I don't mm -hmm. care what size braid you got. Eventually it wears. Yeah. And I've seen it quite a few times yeah. where people brought their own gear and they, they tie it on a three foot leader and that's and that. a five foot fish. <laughs> five feet up that line, wherever that tail's hitting yeah. on a long fight, because you, you know, it's 20, 30 minutes, yeah. uh, it'll wear through on that, that braid eventually. So I, it doesn't wear out as bad on, on the, uh, the mono or the fluorocarbon. Yeah. Fluorocarbon's a little tougher than the mono. Mono ties a little easier than fluorocarbon, holds the knots a little bit better. Floats a little better. Uh, yeah, out there. It doesn't matter out there, I'm saying, but for yeah, other purposes. For other purposes, yeah. yeah. And uh, with the uh, the reason we go 60 and 80, you could land a tarpon with 20 pounds, mm -hmm. you know, by fighting it right, because you, your drags are not that. Yeah. You can't put that much pressure on it. The problem comes in, they got rough mouth, and it's yeah. like sandpaper, and they'll wear through it pretty quick mm -hmm. so if i'm fighting fish that are in that 80 you know if I'm, that's what i'm finding is the 70 80 90 pounders yeah on up to 100 120 i'm gonna go with that 60 pound yeah because the fight's not gonna be that long you yeah. start getting in start seeing the big boys roll up <laughs> then i want to switch over to 80 yeah and because the fight's gonna be longer yeah. and they have longer time to chew through that mm -hmm. that leader and that's the last thing you want is somebody's first tarpon right on it right up beside the boat yeah. and at the last second he's chewed through the leader and <laughs> it snaps when i grab a hold of the leader on the side of the boat yeah so, oh well all that, right that about does it on that all right guys uh, another bite me short here uh, again you can subscribe and you can uh, we appreciate everybody subscribing to the podcast wherever you get your podcast we got another one coming up soon <laughs>